morning good morning everyone so uh today i received one feedback from nidhi one of my audience who asked me uh how we scale system to support million users i mean i how i can summarize the key points which i should consider when we talk about a system to support million of user so my few suggestion here for her uh one is the top most point is keep web tier stateless the second point is build redundancy at every tier third is cache data as much as you can fourth is support multiple data center across the multiple geography fifth is host static assets in cdn and sixth is split tiers into individual service seventh is monitor your system and use automation tools as much as possible i hope these points if you follow these points probably you will get a very good sense of how to scale for million user how to scale your system for million user so i think this much is uh, okay to give the thought initially okay now let's discuss today's topic so today's topic is apache kafka as a loosely coupled connector between publisher and subscriber i will cover the following topic under this heading brief introduction and architecture component and sub components the second is overall structure brief explanation with purpose main feature advantage and improvements the third key area i will cater is system design interview key problems and their solutions especially for checking the technical understanding of candidates on apache kafka and the fourth one is top five use case in service development where apache kafka is the only best does it mean only this it is a best possible solution among whatever the solution available and also we will try to mention the reason and supporting analogy why i am saying the apache kafka is best solution for this scenario and at last i will try to give the conclusion as is i mean yeah in terms of summary conclusion in terms of summary to conclude the my this segment of video okay yeah okay good evening everyone so let's start to discuss a brief introduction and architecture component and sub components of kafka apache kafka is an open source stream processing software platform developed by linkedin and donated to apache software foundation right so if i talk about the language in the language it is developed so majorly scala and java right scala and java was the main language in which it is written at its heart kafka is a distributed event streaming platform capable of handling trillions of events a day so its scale is a major advantage of this system the main components include producer which is like application that send or publish records to kafka topics another key component is consumers application that read subs or subscribe also you can say subscribe from kafka topics okay now another key component is brokers kafka servers that store data and serve client request is called brokers jukeeper is majorly uh, used for managing and coordinating brokers and then topics is also like categories or feed name to which records get published and partition is allow kafka to horizontally scale as each partition can be hosted on a different server so in continuation of last discussed point another key component is to understand the offset concept used in kafka a sequence id given to messages as they arrive in a partition that is called offset then another component is kafka streams a client library what is this kafka stream it is a client library for building application and microservices there is another uh, key things which is connect api an api for building and running reusable data connectors is called connect api okay now let's try to understand because this is the one thing you should understand always is what how you can define the purpose here to for the kafka so kafka serves as a buffer against data burst and as a storage system ensuring that data is reliably stored and can be consumed in real time or later on so that is the main purpose of this kafka let's try to understand main feature of kafka so the main feature is first main feature is called high throughput capable of handling millions of events per seconds second key feature is scalability horizontal is scalable by adding more machines third important feature is durability messages are persistent on disk and replicated for fault tolerance the fourth key feature is real time processing meaning uh, allows real time data processing so 
let me repeat again high throughput scalability durability and real time dose these are the four features which giving the so much value in apache kafka okay welcome back so until this point we have understood the main feature now let's try to understand or analyze advantages of kafka so the first thing is first advantage you can consider like decoupling of a product uh, sorry decoupling of a producers and consumers ensure that producer and consumer work independently that is the one key advantage then another key advantage is high reliability even if some nodes fail data remains available and that is very important point to be precise another key important point here is latency kafka ensure data is transferred with very very low latency kafka that is the beauty of kafka that's why it is almost real time streaming platform so until this point we are clear about the advantages of kafka let's consider now improvements of in kafka so enhancing monitoring like under this like current uh, development we have we are seeing the problem like with in, i mean there are uh, challenges still we are finding the challenges in monitoring and the improvements can consider like with the inclusion of tools like kafka streams monitoring capabilities have improved another key improvement is security area so security features like acl ssl and sasl for secure data transfer let's discuss few problem area i mean in terms of questions and especially when uh, you are testing someone of their design skills especially for the topic which is called kafka apache kafka like does this uh, interview you have enough concept on kafka or not for that i let me put three questions three important questions only okay one is how does kafka ensure the order of messages and two is how does kafka handle massive data storage and retention policies and the third is how to escape kafka for high availability and fault tolerance so these are the three questions which potentially give you enough idea about your interviewee does he or she knows about apache kafka okay. let's start learning now i mean start question uh, and their answer discussion okay the first question we should always ask that how does kafka ensure the order of messages so apache kafka ensure the order of messages using a combination of its partition based architecture and its offset mechanism here is how kafka ensure the order of messages the first thing is partition in kafka a topic can be divided into multiple partitions each partition is an ordered and immutable sequence of messages when a producer sends a message to a kafka topic it specifies which partition the message should go to so the partition number is there you just send to that partition within a single partition the order in which the messages are produced is preserved another concept used here is offsets every message within a partition has a unique sequence number called an offset the offset is a monotonically monotonically increasing identifier that represents the position of the message within the partition as a new messages are added to the end of a partition their offset increase sequentially consumers use these offset to track their position within a partition ensuring that they process message in order okay, okay. let's start learning now uh, i mean start question uh, and their answer discussion now. okay the first question we should always ask that how does kafka ensure the order of messages so apache kafka ensure the order of messages using a combination of its partition based architecture and its offset mechanism here is how kafka ensure the order of messages the first thing is partition in kafka a topic can be divided into multiple partitions each partition is an ordered and immutable sequence of messages when the producer sends a message to a kafka topic it specifies which partition the message should go to so the partition number is there you just send to that partition within a single partition the order in which the messages are produced is preserved another concept used here is offsets every message within a partition has a unique sequence number called an offset the offset is a monotonically monotonically increasing identifier that represents the position of the message within the partition as a new messages are added to the end of a partition their offset increase sequentially consumers use these offset to track their position within a partition ensuring that they process message in order okay next concept next concept is one producer per partition and it is a recommended not mandatory 
to guide the message order it's recommended but not mandatory of course to have a single producer uh, single producer per partition you should avoid to use multiple partition for i mean multiple producer per, per partition if in case multiple producer write to the same partition there is a possibility of out of order message delivery due to network delays or retries etc so that's why it is always recommended one producer per partition another important thing is producer configuration we always have to make sure that next dot there is a i mean one configuration which is called uh, max in fight uh, request per configuration that is uh, also need to be handled this okay so let's continue with producer configuration now there is a configuration uh, flag which is max dot in dot flight dot request dot per condition per connection this configuration defines how many uh, produce request can be in a it can be in flight simultaneously for a single broker connection setting this to one if you set one can ensure that messages are written to a partition in order however it can affect throughput yeah another thing is x by setting x to all or maybe minus one also the same thing like right? to all or minus one is the same thing a producer will wait for all replicas of the partition to acknowledge the messages while this does not directly influence order it ensures that committed messages are durably stored all right so let's continue again consumer consideration a single consumer from a consumer group reads messages from a partition particular partition to maintain order if multiple consumers from the same group were reading from one partition message ordering could not be guaranteed due to potential overlap in processing right another a point which helps in ordering is item potent producers kafka provides item potent producer enabled by setting enable dot item potence is equal to true with this feature enabled kafka ensure that messages are written to the partition exactly once and in the order to produce create created them even under certain error condition or retries now what is the potential pitfalls here one is replication even though kafka ensure order within a partition once messages are replicated to follower broker brokers the exact order of messages can differ between leader and follower replicas due to the asynchronous nature of replication however this does not affect consumers as they always read from the leader replica okay let me repeat again because this is a very uh, good point to understand in case of uh, replica case the guarantees of ordering is little problematic how to explain even though kafka ensure order within a partition once messages are replicated to follower brokers the exact order of messages can differ between leader and follower replica due to the asynchronous nature of replication however this does not affect consumers as they always read from the leader replica okay another pitfall here is log compactation compactation okay over time kafka can perform log compactation on topic which removes older messages that have a newer version based on the key in the partition this cleanup process does not affect the ordering of the remaining messages but it may delete some messages right let's summarize whatever you learned until now so kafka ensure the order of messages within a single partition by understanding and properly configuring producers and consumers user can ensure that message ordering is maintained as required by their specific use case